Guys, before we start this video, I just want to give another shout out to my Big Stack podcast. Currently sitting at almost 10,000 subscribers in less than 48 hours, guys. I want to say thank you for making our dreams come true. You'll find a link in the description box below. You'll find a link here on screen. I would love it if you would check out the podcast and let us know what you think. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie298 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. And we've seen a lot of weird monetization in the last year, uh, but this is probably one of the worst we've ever seen outside of the mobile sphere. Uh, the folks over at Call of Duty, uh, Black Ops 4, are now selling a single red dot. So Call of Duty Black Ops 4 actually launched without the microtransactions in place, and that gave a lot of reviewers a very positive feeling towards the game, a lot of day one players, but it was only a few days later that they finally added microtransactions, and boy, are they a doozy. And at launch, it looked like basically it was just going to be a slow grind to unlock all of the cosmetics in the game, you know, gun skins and character skins and things along that lines via the black mark system. It just looked like it was going to be a long, slow, miserable grind. But once microtransactions were added to the game, it became readily apparent why it was such a slow and miserable grind. Because you could just simply purchase Call of Duty points and use those points to just bypass and get those cosmetics way faster. And this black market system was uh, divided up by tiers, so you could purchase access to multiple tiers at once if you had enough Call of Duty points. So somebody asked the question, how much money would it cost to access all of the tiers at once so that you're getting the maximum value for your time? This journalist uh, estimated that he would need to buy 193 tiers for 19,300 COD points. Or alternatively, if you purchased the $99 package, that would get you 13,000 points, and then you would just need to buy the $19 package to get another 2,400 points. So right around 120 bucks American. And of course, you don't have to pull out your credit card. You can grind through all of this content. But according to this user on Reddit, it would take over 400 hours to get through all 200 tiers in the black market. So good luck. And that is, of course, after you spent $60 just to get access to the game. And that's not for a single-player game. That's for an exclusively 100% multiplayer experience. There is no single-player content. And that $60 provided you bought the standard edition of the game. Of course, you had the Digital Deluxe Edition, you had the Digital Deluxe Enhanced Edition, and of course, you had the Collector's Edition as well. So you could spend a lot more than 60 bucks just to buy access to these microtransactions. And look, as a person who's played League of Legends to get access to skins, a person who's played Overwatch, paid $40 to buy into Overwatch, and then bought loot boxes to get access to skins, I get it. It's cool when you get a really cool skin, a really nice thing, and when you get something that really stands out and really changes the game and makes you look cool in the game, sometimes that's very appealing. I'm not arguing with that. Arguably, the most uh, popular game in the world right now is Fortnite, and Fortnite uses a very similar system to the black market, their Battle Pass system. And you get some really cool skins and some really cool stuff, as well as some just jank along the way as you always lock those cool skins. But choosing to sell a single red dot for a dollar, yes, it's marked as 50 cents on your screen right now, that's because it was on sale the day it launched. Uh, but now you can buy it for a full dollar instead because it's no longer set at the sell price. And that's for a single red dot. And that's not a cool skin that everyone is going to see. That is not a cool weapon skin that everyone is going to see and make you feel cool. That's just a single red dot, a small collection of pixels on the center of your screen. And yes, it functions as a reticle. I understand that. I get that. Maybe you really need that reticle. But if that's the case, that's something they should throw in. That shouldn't be something they charge you a dollar for. And look, we've seen plenty of insulting microtransactions in this last year, uh, games that would take thousands of hours or thousands of dollars to unlock everything in. We've seen Konami charge for an extra character save slot in Metal Gear Survive. This might be the lowest of the low, charging for an option in a game, charging for just a tiny little collection of red pixels. And if you're one of those people that are saying, Boogie, it's all just tiny pixels. It's all just a collection of pixels. Exactly my point. It's not worth a dollar. It's certainly not worth $120 to access to all of those pixels. It's just, it is absurd to expect to spend that type of money on a video game you've already spent 60, 90, 120 bucks for. And for those of you who say, Boogie, it's only cosmetic. It doesn't affect gameplay. It doesn't affect game design. You're wrong. It does, because they designed this system to take a tremendously long and difficult amount of time to grind so that people would get frustrated, people would get irritated, and people would pay to bypass this absurd 400-hour grind. 
Look, if a video game never gave you access to a, a purchasing system that allowed you to bypass the grind, then I would never argue with that. Or if the game just sold the skins outright for $2 or $3 so you could get exactly what you wanted, that's a better system as well. But when it comes to designing your game to be as grindy as possible, to take advantage of people who have more money than they do willpower, I have a problem with that. And look, if this game was free to play like Fortnite, I probably wouldn't have such a big problem with it. But the reality of it is, this is a $60 title. Most of that content, all of that content, should probably be included for that $60 price. And if not, it certainly should be included in the much more expensive editions. And if you want to design your game so that you have a reason to encourage people to continue to play it so they unlock nice items as they play, then I don't think you also get to choose to sell them those same items. That Those should be items that are earned and not purchased. But if you are going to sell those cosmetic items for 50 cents for a dollar, they should at least be interesting. There is no way under any circumstances in any video game that a single circular reticle should be worth a dollar. So let me know what you think in the comments section below. Have we hit a brand new low for microtransactions? Does this kind of thing bother you? Because clearly it bothers me, but I'm curious. If you play Call of Duty Black Ops 4, are you happy with the state of the game? Are you frustrated with it? Let me know in the comments section below. And as always, I'll be harding and looking at those comments. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. I love you very much, and I'll speak with you again soon. And Activision Blizzard, shape up or ship out.